you got it from Brenda, didn't you? Brenda to give me the money as payment. To kill her ex-husband. I got your money. Five now, the rest when it's done. But not here. You want to get us busted? You sure you want to do this? I want that bastard off the planet. Make Brittany a widow before she's a wife. She said the back door would be unlocked to get there by 9 p.m., that everyone would be out of the house but Gary. No one would notice me because I was always there. Then what happened? I was supposed to go to the study. She said he always worked late. I did what she said, but he wasn't there. What are you doing here? Family night at the club. They shouldn't be home till midnight. Look, if this is some kind of setup. It isn't. But I still want you to kill someone. Let me guess. His fiance. No. Me. You know, Carl, that is a terrific story. <laughs> See, I knew you wouldn't believe me. I told her to go to hell. Hey, hey! I didn't think you would do it if I told you the truth. <laughs> You killed before what? Suddenly you grew a conscience? You actually want to commit suicide? No, I want to be murdered. And I want Gary to pay. <sighs> You're crazy, lady. Am I? I have his DNA under my fingernails. Bruises. Scratches. Phone messages. I'm in his house. I'm in his bedroom. You and I have never met. You agreed to kill Gary. Money is money! You want someone dead? Do it yourself. I got my standards. I'm out of here. And that was the last I saw of her until this morning. Look, I'm the one who called it in. And that's because you're a good citizen, right, Carl? Look, say what you want. But I didn't kill her. Commander Tarlow, thank you for coming back to talk to me. No, not a problem. Um, I was sorry to hear when Agent Burles told me you found Andrew Rusk's body. Listen, why didn't you tell me he was sick? I I'm sorry? Who told you that? You did. Just then. What was wrong with him? Was it something that happened on board the Gloucester? A young girl's life is on the line. They were shadowing a Russian naval exercise in North Korean waters six months ago when a coolant line broke causing a reactor leak. Rusk was locked in the engineering section for 16 hours before they were able to vent the contamination. Radiation? How could he possibly have survived? He was airlifted to Pearl Harbor, where he was given a highly experimental radiation inhibitor. He's been on medical leave since the accident. I'm gonna need his medical records. The real ones. Listen, Nar, listen, Bo railroaded me. He's been trying to do that ever since we got together. And I'm innocent, Nar, you know that. I don't know anything anymore. Well, you know me. You know me better than anyone else in the entire world, Nar. I love you, and you love me. I thought so. No, you do. I, I realize that Bo has turned your world upside down right now. He's made you doubt me, doubt your own feelings. Nar, I think... Think about our vows. Think about that. No, I don't want to think about that right we, now. We were happy. No, you can't deny it. We're, we're. No, we can still be happy. No, I'm going to fight these charges. I'm going to fight Bo. We'll both fight Bo together. You and me against the whole world if we have to. And we'll win, Nora, because I'm innocent. I didn't, I, I didn't kill Jen. I, I didn't kill Paul. I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that to anybody. Listen, I know that you know that's, that's true. Deep inside. Believe in me, Nora. Believe in yourself. Believe in the love we have for each other. I want to thank you for your honesty. No. No, no, no. Honey, honey, honey. Mm. I know, I know, I know that it's possible to love two people at the same time. But what don't you see? You give me a wonderful gift. Something I never thought I would have in my life. 
You gave me the ability to love with my whole heart. And you allowed me to look into your soul. You can't ask me to share that with anyone.